Thank you, Seema, and thank you for giving the opportunity to say a few words today. As Seema said, I'm a Ghoul councillor and the youngest mayor in the country. I'm incredibly proud to be from Ghoul and to represent the community I was born and raised in. I was elected at the age of 18 and I work every day to stand up for the people who elected me for my town. Ghoul always hasn't had it easy, but it's the local councillors that encourage investment back into the area. I'm also proud to be Labour. I'm proud to be with Seema and Jeremy today. However, I stand before you in very different circumstances to what I'd hoped. I'm still coming to terms with what we are facing, life outside the European Union. I am proud to be one of the 48% who voted Remain. I did this for workers' rights, the investment for UK universities, and investment into youth employment initiatives. These have huge impacts in my local areas. What's hit me most on a personal level is the 75% of 18 to 25 year olds who voted to remain in the EU. They are now being dragged out against their will. A terrible generational divide that we must seek to overcome as we go forward. But it's these voters who still want to fight on. It is these voters who want to make sure we keep the benefits we had in Europe and ensure that the government puts the next generation at the front of its policy. However, we can't ignore the fact we lost in some strong, Haber, strong Labour heartlands, as the focus on immigration for many Leave voters shows that the primary question facing other nation and others of the party aspiring to government is how to make forces of globalisation work for the middle classes and the working classes of this country. It is not merely enough to reject the premise of immigration is beneficial to the UK economy, we also have to understand why people are worried and that it's just the start. But today, we as the Labour Party start having those conversations. I look forward to taking part in many of them. I know that as a party, we need to unite around a message for the country to help secure a future for post-Brexit post reality and ensure that Labour values are maintained as a British value to help secure a bright future for my generation, bringing home to those who are fearful at the moment. We must stand together to make sure we protect hard-fought workers' rights we have gained, to make sure that young people, wherever they live, are not left behind. And we make sure that communities like mine also don't get left behind. Let's build bridges, not walls. So let the conversation begin. And on that note, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the leader of the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming, and thank you, Seema, for that introduction, and His Worshipful the Mayor of Ghoul for his introduction this morning.